Hey guys, Iceman here. So I just got done watching Dangerville's video about how NECA just recently announced that they will not be making a King Ghidorah figure for the King of the Monsters film. And this has a lot of fans pissy, methinks. But the fact of the matter is, NECA makes some epic Godzilla figurines. The most prized ones in my collection are made by NECA, although I don't have any Monster Arts figures, and I hear those is awesome as well. But from the Toy Fair that folks just recently attended, the Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra models are very impressive. We even get two versions of Godzilla, one where he's infused with his atomic power, causing a blue sort of tint to radiate through him. Also, what I think is the most impressive Rodan toy we have ever seen. As far as I can tell, it's quite movie accurate, and he looks terrifying. Now, when I first saw these images a few days ago, I could only imagine how bloody large the King Ghidorah figure would have to be in order to be in scale with these other kaiju monsters. And I was wondering how NECA would go about to accomplish such a feat. It would most certainly require a higher price point for them to make such a thing. Three to four, maybe five times the cost of their usual figures. So perhaps they saw this unachievable. They generally don't make things so damn large, and they probably wanted to keep it to scale if they were going to do it. And they knew it just wasn't going to be worth producing if they were going to limit the buyer base so much, because far less people would buy it, most likely, if it were so damn expensive. But I still plan on getting these other figures, that's for sure. And it's hard to say, maybe eventually NECA will make a King Ghidorah figure. Perhaps they could even make one on a separate scale. Just make one the size of Rodan, for example, and we'll just make sure to not set it next to the other figures on our Godzilla shelves for display, because we don't want to mislead anyone in thinking Ghidorah is a tiny little pansy. But the truth is, man, these NECA figures are awesome, and what you see in the background are my collection, most of which are NECA Godzilla figures. They come at a very tolerable price point, I think. And they're extremely poseable as well. Although I think the Monster Arts figures might be even more so in this way. But nonetheless, are you guys itchy over this matter? How NECA apparently isn't going to release a King Ghidorah figure as of right now? And are you still planning on buying the NECA figures? The Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra? Or are you just going to buy all the SH Monster Arts? Let me know in the comments section below if you will. I'll be getting these figures as soon as they come out, and I'll show them off on my channel, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, peace be with you.